What's up guys, Shane here from 3D Printing and today we're going to build the LX Maker A3 Pro Laser Engraver. Hi, welcome back guys. So this is the Elks Maker A3 Laser Engraver. And I've never done anything with a laser engraver, laser cutter, anything like that. I've only really done 3D printing. This is, I don't know if you would consider this subtractive manufacturing where 3D printing is additive manufacturing. I'm not sure, but I have always wanted to try out one of these things and to see how it goes. So this one was sent to me by GearBest and uh, I think we've started some kind of partnership here. I don't know. But anyways, this is the first product they sent me. They asked me if to do a laser thing first and I really, really wanted to have one. So this should be interesting. Now this is a kit and it retails for $200 on their site. The build volume is 300 millimeters by 380 millimeters. I guess build volume, cut volume, the area which you can cut. So that's pretty sizable. I mean, it's, you know, good portion of this box will end up being that, you know, area that you can cut with. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, oh, and it is a 2,500 milliwatt laser that's on it. Now I know you need like a 30 or 40 watt or higher to actually cut a lot of things. So like I said, this is an engraver, not necessarily a cutter. So I would be able to make something out of wood, cut it down, and then use this to like engrave something on it, which might be cool. And it'd actually be really cool to see what it would do to plastic. I don't know, probably just melt it, but something we can find out. So let's unbox this and see what's in it. We just have a big piece of one inch styrofoam on top that closed cell foam, and everything is laid out pretty nicely. You can see there, that's not too bad. And we have right on top, the Elks Laser Pro, tells you how everything there is, and it is actually written on. So they actually did this, there's A3 and A5, the wattage it is, there's 14 parts. So let's see all what we have in store. We have the package of acrylic parts, so uh, the main joiners on this are all acrylic. We have a, oh, a braided micro USB, that's not too bad. Some G2, GT2 timing belt, a US plug, non-polarized and not grounded. Uh, we have a parts kit here, which is very nice. So it's got wheels, allen wrenches, bolts, nuts, uh, timing, the uh, five millimeter timing ones on there, standoffs, more screws, all kinds of stuff. And it comes in this little case, which is nice, like the little tackle box. That's not too bad. Uh, we've got two motors, three motors, sorry, three motors in here. And these are smaller. They might be, I guess they're just small NEMA 17 motors. All Elks Makers, Elix, E-L-E-K-S, Elix Maker, I guess. It's all of their motors. We have some type of carriage. We have laser glasses, so protective eyewear. Make sure you wear those. We have a power supply which this goes 110 to 240, one amp, 50, 60 hertz, 12 volt output, five amps. Good. In here we have, this is probably the laser inside of here. This is all the electronics. So there's some pieces of wood. This is probably just sample stuff, real thin, real thin stuff. Bunch of cables. They have their own board, LX Maker board which has steppers, the uh, uh, A4988 stepper motors on it for X and Y axis. And then it looks like a, a zero, like a Pi Zero or something on it. Interesting board. There's no other markings like what it is. LX Maker Mana SE, second edition maybe. And we have the laser in here. And let's move this out of the way now. And now we have a bunch of extrusion. 
Uh, let's see. 2040, 2040, 20, 20, 2040. A couple of these, which some people like, some people don't like. This is the uh, V slot covers that go over that. And we've got two, three, four corner brackets. And that's it. Like, this is super duper, like, not a lot of stuff for this. I kind of was expecting it to be more. I mean, it is a pretty small box. I mean, it's only four inches. So, that's it. Well, <laughs> there's no instructions, and I didn't receive any instructions. It wasn't a USB, and there's no paperwork in here. Uh, yeah, well, that's interesting. I wonder what the gift is. Maybe this is the gift? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to pause here real quick and go online and see if I can find... Yeah, there's nothing in here. Please do not shoot the eye when using must-wear goggles. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go online and see if I can find some instructions for this. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing like a micro SD card they threw in here somewhere with stuff on it. Um, doesn't look like it anywhere. So, I'll be back. Alright, so that was easy enough. I just went on to the product page and they actually had linked down the bottom the Dropbox. And the instructions are simple. It is a single PDF that has the instructions and then there's a single drawing with how to wire up their board. The MANA SE is actually what it's called. So that's, I mean, I kind of think you should include these two pieces of paper in there. I mean, I know they're making these mass produced to like be cheap, but I mean, two pieces of paper, I think we can afford that. So let us get to it. I'm not gonna be too nitty gritty unless I find a point on here that I need to tell you guys like, hey, be aware of this. Other than that, I'm just gonna get right to it. Okay, so I figured out how to get this belt installed. So once you install these little brackets here, these acrylic pieces here, you'll have the T-slotted nut down in there. You need to run the M3 all the way through and lock it in with the lock washer so it's tight on here now. Then there's a slot right here in the middle. Well, that's where your timing belt comes up and in. So you just push it in there, up like so, so it's a little bit up and then down in. So now you see the M3 is pushing down on the belt to hold it in there tight. And now we can reinsert the M5. And once I get my bit here, ugh, I can now tighten this down and that belt is not going anywhere. So that's how you install the belt. That's it.
I gotta say, I mean, that took me, well, I guess just over an hour to do all of that. Those slide even all the way. And this slides easily to each side. All right, I'm liking this. So the next step, I guess, is even powers on. But to do that, I need to make some space on my desk because then you need to hook this up to the computer, which I just installed the software. Uh, so yeah, I need to make some space somewhere to try this out. Be back in a second. All right, so it's been uh, two days now since I did the original unboxing of this and I started playing with it. There's a couple issues here. Uh, most of them are probably my fault. The very first one is not my fault and it is the really, really shoddy LX Cam software that comes with this, you're supposed to use to drive this. It's a bad program. It doesn't take G-code properly. It doesn't really work on converting JPEGs and uh, BMPs like it's supposed to, bitmaps. I don't know why, but I have a lot of different files I've tried. I've tried removing backgrounds and making them transparent and all kinds of things. Still not working properly. So, I mean, it works a little bit, but again, even though it kind of does, it's not uniform. So I can export it one way. I tell it to make something 20 millimeters wide. So the canvas is 20 millimeters wide. It ends up printing it 65 millimeters wide. So it, it doesn't scale pro properly. I mean, it just, in, in the beginning, I was having a lot of issues with things just not even printing properly at all. Uh, the original stepper, which I have right here, was actually bad, which caused a lot of my issues. So I replaced the stepper and I was getting things better. But before I had like a short fat Pikachu, then I had a not so fat and short Pikachu, but I double scaled it to get this. It looked exactly the same. I'm, so it just didn't work out. And then, as I said, this fox here was supposed to be 20 millimeters wide. He's 65 millimeters wide. I mean, what's up with that? So that is an issue with the machine having a bad stepper. Luckily I had one because I had all 3D printing. So I was able to easily fix that, tune it, and go from there. And again, that software is just horrible. The other part that's kind of bad with this is this Mayan experience. I've never dealt with this before. I know G-code but it uses a few different commands that I am aware of that I've used before for the laser. It, different code turns on the laser, turns off the laser, etc. So learning that part is the challenge. And then learning the software. I can slice up anything with Simplify 3D, but learning how to cut something instead of build something up is different. So I'm learning the different parts of that uh, a couple of the, my key concerns with this machine is the very first one, there's no end stops. So in order to home the machine, you gotta do something funky with it, I take it, because I can't get it to home properly. It's supposed to home either up here or in the center. When I tell it to home with LX Maker, it homes in the center, great. But LX Maker is a horrible program and I'm having a hard time with it, so I'm going to LaserWeb. I have everything set up in there and it homes short of, homes right around here. So about 60 millimeters and 50 millimeters short of either axis, or actually it's 100, it's 100 on the X short. I don't understand why, um, even though I have it set up like, and you're thinking, well, maybe you have it backwards. So this is supposed to be 380 and this is not. No, this is supposed to be 300, this is supposed to be 380. Why is it not homing all the way? I don't know. So again, that's my inexperience with the program. So I need to sit down for the next few days and try and learn that. And then I can give this a little bit more of a better look on how it is. The build quality is great. You really can't beat it for $200 if you're looking for something to learn on, I guess. Uh, if you have the aluminum extrusion and you have a 3D printer and you have extra steppers and a couple of the extra pulleys and stuff, which you get over time, the GT2 timing belt, I mean, you could do this for a heck of a lot less than $200 because the laser alone for the 2.5 watt, 2500 milliwatt, it is $65. So that's your biggest cost in this entire kit is just this motor. The board is pretty cheap. You can pick up a board for only a few dollars 
and it's using Arduino Nano. So those again are what, like $2 or something like that? They're super cheap. So you could do this a lot cheaper with a if you own a 3D printer and you have spare parts laying around. Otherwise, it seems to be a good place for me to start and learn on how to use the software. I've seen a lot of people with success with this, so I'm not giving up hope. This is again my just first look, my few, you know, three days now that I've totally been playing with this and we're getting somewhere. I have successful cuts, but I still need more work. So I will be back with more on this. So quick disclaimer, this was sent to me by GearBest for the purpose of honestly me learning. I really asked them if I could learn and they said yes. So I won't be able to really review this as I normally would a 3D printer as I have many of those. I have a lot of experience with that now. This is something very new to me. So in the end all, it's gonna be how does this machine work out? How does the software work out? For me as a beginner, since this is definitely a beginner build, this is not something for like work or anything like that. This is very, very consumer based. Do a couple projects at home. My kids think it's amazing to watch the laser. I give them the glasses and they think it's crazy how it does this. They like my 3D printing as well. So I thank them for letting me have this opportunity and I will be back with more on this. Well, hey, shame for the future here. Totally forgot to tell you that if you want to buy this, down in the video description, there's going to be some links and there's going to be a coupon code down there. Go ahead down to the GearBest website, use that coupon code. You can get this for $159 and change. Uh, I don't think that includes shipping, but for the price, it takes it down almost $50 from what the actual price of the unit is. So if you want to check this out to test out, see if it works for you, maybe it's a little starter kit for you to try out, $159 is a good way to start. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I know this wasn't exactly what you were expecting from this video, and I know I had a lot of heartache here, but you know what? You don't learn something unless you try. So this is me learning and trying, and if you like the way I'm doing this, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me in the comments down below. If you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, that way you know anytime a new video comes out. If you want to support me financially, Patreon down below. I thank my current Patreons for your donations and your support. If you want to help me without spending your money, there's affiliate links down below, lots of new ones now. So go ahead, check that out. Do your daily shopping with those links, and I'll appreciate it. So until next time, guys, happy printing.